Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. I want to make everybody understand <laughs> I am not cold. I am wearing my coat so I don't have to turn my heater on. Everything is getting pretty expensive. And I just don't want to get saddled with a big gas bill. So I put my coat on so I won't be cold. So don't worry, I'm not cold, okay? And you see me wearing my coat and you're worried about me. Don't worry, it's fine. You know, um, I am quite comfortable with my coat on. And um, it, it's just like wearing a sweater to me. It's just comfortable. So don't worry, I'm not cold. I might look cold. I might make you think by looking at me that I'm cold, but I'm not cold. I have heat and I can turn it on. You know, I'm just conserving because winter is coming here in Utah and it gets pretty cold. And so um, I know I will be having to run that heater um, more than a little bit. So... <laughs> For now, it's just fall, and it's not really cold, and um, I just have that old cold, you know. Old people get cold, and they have trouble warming up. So if I can keep myself from getting cold, then I'm miles ahead of the game, and, and I have a little bit more money to work with for things that I do need. <laughs> So my coat is saving me money, and I'm not cold, okay? Don't worry. Today we're going to be continuing in 1 Corinthians, and we are in chapter 3. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for here too ye were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able. These are new Christians, and we all must know someone who's a new Christian and needs to be fed milk of the word. So you don't swamp their boat. <laughs> Little babies don't start off chewing meat. They have to have milk, and it's the same with the Christians when they're new. When they're new Christians, we should be celebrating them and encouraging them and being there to support them against coming out from the things of the world. Don't go about preaching to them. Just don't do that. You don't want to drive them away. You want to draw them closer so think about that when you choose your words and you're trying to help someone that's new to the faith. You know, be kind and loving to them. And show them, you know, the light that's inside of you, that goodness. That's what you want them to see. You want to encourage them. Not just with words, but by the way you act. Because, I mean, that is coming from your inside, from your heart. So you want people to see what's in your heart. Okay? So this is um, verse 2. I have fed you with milk and not with meat. For here too ye were not able to bear it. Neither are ye, neither yet now are ye able. For ye are yet carnal. They're still hooked up in the things of this world. For whereas... There is among you envying and strife and divisions. Are ye not carnal and walk as men? See, so there he's telling them you're involved in the stuff in the world. You know, come out of the world. A lot of people, when they hear um, God has said, come out of her, my people. And they think it's a city or it's a country or it's a political system it's the world <laughs> it is the world come out of her my people don't partake of things earthly things and put that before God so just remember 
that's what you're coming out of. For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another I am of, of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, meaning we're all in the body of Christ. We're all one body, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon for other foundation can no man lay than that is laid which is Jesus Christ he's a rock <laughs> he is the head of the cornerstone mm. and we build everything upon him and his promises and in his gift of salvation the cross where he died and shed his blood that's what we build on and now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If you're building on the rock, if any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire or through fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Hello, fire. <laughs> Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in his own in this world or age, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that, are, that they are vain or futile. Therefore let no man glory in men. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. And as always, I love you. Keep working to get it right. Every day is a new opportunity. I love you.